Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Here's Ahmed Nasser from Stereo 007. This is, is a quick tutorial on Unity 3D in GUI with animation. We have here some of the menus that we want to work with. So in this tutorial you will learn how to design a menu like this or like this one or like this one or even like this one. In order to design a menu like this, you have to be familiar with Unity menus and animation. So, in order to achieve our goal in this tutorial, we gotta do something else. We wanna work with a plugin for Unity called Ingui. So, all you need is to purchase this Ingui plugin with Unity and install it into your Unity. Um, environment. So, uh, before I continue this video, just gonna create a new Unity project. So here, let me type um, Stereo 007 in GUI and create a 2D project. Just hit create. Do not save this scene. Just gonna get started with a new Unity project. All right. Here we got our new scene. Just gonna create here a new folder called assets. And this assets folder, I just gonna bring my assets into this uh, page. So we're gonna de design a menu similar to this one. So we need three or four images to achieve this. So all I want to do here is just drag and drop these images into our assets folder. So we got this and this and this and this. Uh, next step, I'm just gonna run Ingui Unity package. This package is gonna let me to design the menu by dragging and drop the component into our scene. So all you need to do here is importing the script we have here the home button and the restore or the restart button and the play button. So after you imported the package, the Ingui version 2.2.2, the current version, there is a new version 3.5.6, but I'm familiar with this version. So here we are importing the project. All right. Let me pause the video. All right. So after we import all the packages, in GUI packages, you can go to the menu. You can see here a new tab, a new menu item there. All right. That's good. Uh, what we want to do here, we want to create a new atlas. So what is Atlas? Atlas is like the world map Atlas. It contains all the images. So if you want to go Asia, you go to Atlas, you find Asia. You want to go to um, Palestine, you're going to find Palestine in the map. You want to go to United States, you're going to find Pal United States in the, in, the, in the map and so forth. So here you go to examples, you're going to find something called Atlas or Atlases. If you go to one of the atlases, you're going to see three basic files, the sprite, the sprite, and the atlas. So this is, is the atlas. It's just like a collection of images inside one, one container, one wrapper. This is called atlas. It's, it's going to be helpful when you're talking about draw calls and stuff like that in Unity, um, in Unity processing. So. Uh, what we're gonna do here, forget about the Angular folder here, we're just gonna create a new thing. We're just gonna create a new Atlas. So in order to create a new Atlas, you, can, you go to Angular, you go to uh, create uh, a new Atlas or Atlas Maker. So here we need to make a new Atlas. So let me name it as Stereo 007 Atlas. So I'm just gonna hit create. This is an empty atlas. I need to add three images and generate the sprite in the atlas. So I select the first image. Notice here it's added. Second and third. And keep control pressing on the keyboard. So I add them all in order to generate our atlas. 
if you close this right now, you're going to select the Atlas. This is the new Atlas we want to select. Select it. Close this. But where's the Atlas? If you see here, we got the, the Sprite collection here. And also we got the, the Atlas for the Sprite. As you can see here. So, but not so we forget to add one of the elements into this Atlas. So, I'm just going to back to Atlas Maker and go to the text and add it to the Atlas that we can work with in our menu. All right, so we got our sprite updated. We got our new Atlas here with all the elements that we want, and that's cool. Next step, we want to generate our GUI element. We want to start, we started with working with menu. So in order to do that, you have to create a new widget. So if you go to widget, you're going to create open new UI wizard. Here you choose a layer. We don't have a layer for the in GUI. So we're just going to go and create. All right, we need to create a new GUI. Um, layer, let me just say it, Stereo 007 uh, layer. So this is my layer, Stereo 007. Just going to select it and symbol 2d create your ui so right now we have a new ui menu so if you close the widget menu you can see panel it's going to say here it's menu so we've got our menu you can say it whatever you want so this is our menu this is the container for all the things that we want to add to this um screen so if you run it right now nothing gonna be uh, have on the screen because we don't have any element inside this menu. It's a container, but we don't have anything inside it. So, all right. Next step, we want to add something to this menu. We want to add wid widgets element. So we do. You just go to create a widget. Inside a widget tool, you can see here the things that you want to add. I just gonna say, all right, I want to add an image button, and I'm just gonna select this button. And this button also on click on and on press just gonna select the same button and add it to the container element to the panel to the menu. So we got the first element added to the menu. We got it here. So you can select this item and go to center of this item and move it a little bit. You can control the position to it or even you can um, control the size of it so if you if you keep if you, if you click on uh, the the button here you're gonna go here to just change the size of this button a little bit move it for to the left I just want to make it like 32 times 32 and move it to the left. All right. So this is the first image button. You can do the same thing as another button, or you can just come to this button, copy it and paste, copy and paste inside the menu. So we got three buttons in the same position. Just want to say, all right, go to this button, move it a little bit, this place. And this button move it a little bit to this place. So you got these three buttons right there. You can go to the actual menu. You can see here we got this um, uh, this style. So we 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 need to a little bit to minimize the buttons. But let me before that add a new label. Or you can add a sprite. And just gonna select the sprite, and here you can apply it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna change it to the top. Go to these three elements. You can select them all. Control. You go to this image button. Image button. You can just minimize them. Minimize them to a certain certain size 
control their position something like that this is the pause let me just control its position yeah something like that all right move it a little bit down so you got this menu right now you can uh, go to uh, the first button all right you go to the first image button you're gonna see all right let me just see the picture here all right we got here you can see this uh, image here we got the first four buttons blue yellow and red so the first one is blue this is gonna select um, the blue so you go here select blue select blue and here you're just gonna select blue blue uh, make sure the size didn't change so size here is 80 size is 66 times 42 I'm sorry 69 72 all right so I'm just gonna come here to this pen see 69 for the background the same thing oh whoa, 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 wait a minute we're talking about this pen background is almost 119 so we want to come to this script modify its size to be something like that so one one oh twelve and so forth so if you run this <coughs> you got you're gonna see <laughs> we got something like that we want to do something here inside our menu we're gonna say all right um, for the size you go to the UI root don't be automatic we don't want to use any automatic stuff all right you can see something like that <laughs> so if you go back let me just fix the buttons you can open a notepad and just stick with the X and Y for the position this is for Y and this is for um, X so I can go to this background and this is for Y and this is for X this is for this background for this background alright for this image button which is you can see over there this is the 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 image band this is another image band this is another image band so I just gonna select this image button it's 0.7 almost times the same value oh wow, wow wow wait a minute I don't mean that all right something like that second one the same stuff and the third one same thing so if you go to this is this just wanna um, just modify the this is the first one this is the red we want to change the the middle one to another color so we're gonna select this color this color and this color so we want to stick with a ratio so the background always changing so don't forget to back it to the normal size it's gonna be like that one 19 all right this is perfect so right now run it all right that's cool so we got these three bands with the effect that we want but well hey wait a minute what about if you add, we want to add a like animation to the script so in order to add animation you have to create a new animation so for example if I want to click play when I want to click play button so you can come to this uh, pen say this is play 
button. So I want to say, all right, when I click on this play button, I just want to uh, move this pride text. I'm just going to name it um, text. I just want to move text whatever when I when I click on the play button. How you can do this? First thing, you go to the text that you want to move. I'm talking about this blue text. And I just want to create a new animation for it. So in order to create a new animation for this text, you have to add a new animation. So right here, we don't have any movie clip or any new clip to this animation. So I'm just going to go to Assets and say this is Text Ideal, ideal Animation. All right, we got we got this animation for this text, and we got an animator. You can open it from here, animation and animator. You can see here we got an animation with ideal animation. At the ideal animation, I just want to say the pause script is going to be located in this place. So I don't want to do anything to it except that I want to select the text, record an animation to it, and making here an animation to it by going to the scene a little bit move it forward just about I don't know few few pixels to the top and just gonna come here and keep the the X uh, the, the X zero pixel and the same thing here you go X should be the same. Just want to make it like we say uh, simple animation. So make it as default. This is the default animation for this um, animation. So if we go to run this, you can see we have a bell zero pixel animation for boss. So this is perfect. This is the ideal animation. But what about if you want to say, all right. When I click on, on um, you run this, you see, you can see it's always toggling. So you can stop this animation from always animating by going to um, t um, Ideal Animation and remove this loop time. So if you go there, you can see it's just looped once without any repeating. Okay, so we want to make a new animation. Uh, like we say, okay, when I click this play button, I just want to make this pause text top move to the top about 30, 50 pixel. So in, do, in order to do that, you have to come to this place, create a new, say, move top animation. So just going to go to the assets, save this animation, got this animation here, just go scene. Select the text and move it to the top from this place to the top. Let me say here to go move this to one and move it to this place. Something like that. So right now if you play this animation, stop it, play it. You can see we got a repeating animation all the time. So we can come to this project. We can see here we got the new animation. We can remove this tick. But if you want this animation, you can see that only the first animation gonna run. Why? Because we didn't connect the start or trigger the the event that gonna start the the transition to the move to the top animation. We have to make a transition from this ideal default animation. You can make this as default. So if you, if you make this as default, you can see here this is going to be our default animation, not the first one. If you make this as default, it's going to be the, the first or the default animation. So is there a, any way to trigger this animation to move to the next state of the animation? Yeah, you can do that by making transition. So in order to make transition, you just go to to our let me see here, 
we just go to the um, to the ideal animation make a transition to the top animation but what is the condition that gonna be um, that's gonna happen if you put it like this without any condition what's gonna happen it's gonna wait about you can see here it's gonna be waiting about half a second let me say two seconds wait two seconds 2.0 second okay just want to wait 2 2 2 2.0 2 2.0 second and then move to the uh, next level so you can see here we are here we wait two seconds after that we trigger the animation this is depending on time but hey wait a minute what about if I want to put a condition to it so just gonna go to add a new parameter like boolean parameter say is moving top and the initial value for this condition is false so because it's boolean and I want to say instead of exit time it's just gonna say is moving top and it's gonna give it true only when it's true move to the moving top so right now if run this nothing gonna happen because the condition here is not true but hey if you change this to true notes here the effect took place and this is very awesome so right now we want to do something different we want to say make it false but we want to trigger this when I click on this button I just want to trigger the event and move to the top animation so in order to do this we have to write some code and let us write the code for this process I'm just gonna go to the play button this button here and I'm just gonna say you can see here we got a box collider and it's if you run this if you click in this area all this is gonna be affected but if you wanna just fix the collider for this play button you can come here and say alright we wanna just um, move a little bit the collider to exact match um, exact match um, the the size of the band so here we got let me just make it smaller like one 22 23 we're just gonna say um, so this is too large say 100 move it a little bit forward to the left a little bit to the top okay a um, little bit maximize its size a little bit to the left right there decrement the size increase its center to the top something like that okay this is perfect right now I just make the collider just exact match the play button so yeah if you click outside if you click outside nothing gonna happen only you have to click to click on the pen so I need to add the functionality to this pen when I click it I'm just gonna play the animation this is all the thing what I want to do here so I select the play button and going to add a new component it's gonna be just a new script C sharp just gonna say play button controller just gonna add it so just gonna have here a play button controller so what I want to make with this play button controller just uh, gonna add the on click trigger to it so all you have to do right now just right click or double click on the script and open up the script editor and we want to just add um, the script for the play control so here we have start and update just want to say all right wait a minute we don't need any kind of this we're just gonna add a new public method it's gonna be public void 
display or on click because we want to match the overridden method on click and we was we just want to say um, debug dot log just to want to make sure that this is button is working correctly so just want to mo make this script and come to the unity run this clear the console click on the button you can see here we got we have ASD printed out here sounds perfect the band's working everything cool so I need to play the animation but for for what object the object we want to play the animation for is text and the trigger that we want to trigger to this text is is moving top so we have the object here text and we have the triggering condition to this um, animation is moving top so I'm just gonna copy these two things into model editor here and uh, say alright we wanna get the object so game object dot find find let me just make game object like text is equal to um, game object dot find say game object small letter game object dot find wait a minute we got a problem here because these two things corrupting the the world so game object dot find object by name so we want to say all right find text this is the text game object you can name it whatever you want I want I need to get the animator for this game object so in order to get an animator for a game object you just make an animator say anim is equal to text the git component for the git component for the text editor so for, I'm sorry for the for this animator for this game object so I'm just gonna give the component name git animator name animator and this is our animator so I want to go to this animator and modify the condition to sit pull because is moving top is sit pull so here we just gonna go to sit pull and give it is moving to the top um, a value of true so we change it to the true right now this is gonna trigger our animation so let me just test that out click here click play you're gonna trigger the animation click again nothing gonna happen so we might want to click again just want to make the animation back to its um, to its normal position so in order to make it back to its normal position I'm just going to make a transition from top to the bottom and this transition from bottom to the top and this transition gonna be only when the condition is false so run it right now click play click play again nothing gonna happen so we want to make something to make this trigger happen so in order to make this trigger happen, I'm just gonna say animator dot get pull for what? For the condition that we have which is, is moving top. And just gonna inverse it because every time we just gonna make a toggling between true and false. So if you run this, click play it's gonna be moved to the top click play again it's gonna move down click play top it's gonna move to the top click down it's gonna back to its normal position this is a simple animation you can do whatever you want you can uh, move anything with animation this is is trust me this is gonna be the best tutorial on Angular in YouTube because you know Right now, you know how to use animation, how to use um, 
Ingui, how to use um, to call and find an object within the scene, how to call it, how to use and uh, get its animator, how to change the position, how to toggle between different animation, how to use the transition machine state machines conditions, how to make a new state, make transition, and how to make atlas, how to um, make a 2D root panel, centralize the camera to 2D, 2D mode, and I'll do all this stuff. I hope this tutorial was beneficial and don't forget guys to subscribe to our channel, um, a YouTube Stereo 007 and join us uh, on our website AhmadNasser.com all the time. Here's Ahmad Nasser. I hope you got something from this video. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video and see you in other Unity and Web or let me say design tutorial. Thank you again. See you in other videos.